How many Super Mario Odyssey kingdoms can I cross in one straight line? Well, with some extremely precise jumps to absolutely game-breaking glitches, it was going to be a difficult question to answer. And because of this range of difficulty, I decided I would make a tier list. Baby tier meaning you can basically put your joystick up and get across. And impossible meaning, well, there was no way to complete the line even with the use of glitches. So without further ado, let's get started. Starting off with Cap Kingdom, which initially seemed like it would be kind of a challenge. It was pretty fair to say that I would get the longest line going through these small islands, which would leave this big of a gap across the bridge for me to jump through. If I wanted to make this more difficult than it had to be, I could make the jump from the other side since it has been done by trick jumpers in the past. But there was a much easier way of doing it, just fly over it. I know, I know, it does feel like cheating. But this option isn't available in all the kingdoms in this video, with some of the next ones being nearly impossible, so I officially put our first kingdom in baby tier. Now, going on to Cascade, I really wasn't thinking about this kingdom coming into this challenge, but Cascade would immediately pose a really big problem. This wall. Dude, I don't even think I could do DSS in a straight line. If you aren't familiar with Dino Skip Skip or DSS, it's a speedrunning trick that is used to climb up the very wall that I'm trying to right now. So this is technically possible, but it's a really precise jump. You're aiming for such a small ledge on the cliff that barely gets you enough height to go up the wall with the cabbie return jump. And looking at the possibilities, it looked like it would be my only option. So for 50 minutes, I locked in and tried doing DSS for the first time, and I struggled a lot. And then, after 50 minutes of attempts, my brain cells actually connected, just to finally realize. Dude, I don't even need to do DSS, bro. <laughs> By simply going north to south, instead of south to north, opting to roll down the cliff instead of trying to climb up it, it would be exponentially easier. Literally, all I have to do is just not do one of the hardest jumps in Mario Odyssey, and you're able to cross the finish line, it's crazy you would have been able to got this done one hour ago. <laughs> baby tear. Sand Kingdom would be the last of this baby tear streak. I mean, I can't even sugarcoat it, it's just such a flat kingdom. You could basically put the line anywhere, and so I just put it here through the island on the left. And after some finicky alignment issues with the bridges... Wait, no, dude! There's no way that just happened. You're telling me I have to make the jump, I have to make the jump like halfway. I'm an idiot, I wanted to like, roll right there, and I did <laughs> the right, alright, alright, alright. I'm gonna stop right there. Let's go! I got through very easily. Realistically, it shouldn't take you 11 minutes. I was just being an idiot. Wooded Kingdom would be the first actual difficult kingdom. It was very obvious to me that with the height differences of Wooded, I wouldn't be able to do this from south to north at all. But changing it to north to south wouldn't make it any better since the gaps were still too wide. Now, you might be saying, Kojo, there's a glide on, just glide across. But even with the glide on, the wall spinning across Wooded would still be higher than where I stood, meaning that even if I started gliding, the height that I had wouldn't be enough to go over the wall. So why haven't I put it in impossible tier yet? Well, for whatever reason, there was a way to just get infinite height with glide on. This still works on the most up-to-date version of Super Mario Odyssey. If you just get a glide on onto a steep slope and then immediately start flying, you can use motion controls to gain height instead of gradually losing it. So, equipped with this glitch, I went to one side of the map, sort of cross wooded, and messed up the glitch somehow. He stopped gaining height. Bro! But it didn't matter at that point. I'd already gotten enough height from doing it successfully, so I just glided across and ended up doing it pretty smoothly. Without this glitch, this would be completely impossible, so what it is going in the spicy tier. On to Lake Kingdom, where we would finally have to implement the horizontal line. This would end up only being a little difficult, the biggest barriers were this stone wall and the wall at the very end of this line. I used to absolutely grind the Koopa freerunning mode in this kingdom and knew that you can make this jump with the flower just barely. So with the well-performed jump at the wall of this flower, and a cappy return jump to get across this wall, yeah, and then we're fine. Let's go! This is only a little bit difficult, and so I'll put it in medium tier. Cloud Kingdom is easily one of the most aesthetic kingdoms in the entire game, but would it be hard to cross? Well, with this line drawn on the map, the only thing that's stopping you from simply walking across it are these gaps. I did a tricky vault to get across the first gap with little room to spare, but what I didn't realize until the second gap is that Cappy would just home to the pop-up platforms anyway. I'm not even aiming him, I didn't- Cappy just goes immediately over there, what? And even if he didn't, you could just flick him over there. Love you Cloud Kingdom, but this is an easy baby tier.
Lost Kingdom would be a bit silly for me. This line would go from the small island all the way to the top of the cliff, and for whatever reason, I actually made this a lot more difficult than it had to be. I originally wanted to do this from south to north, and after struggling for a little bit, I realized that this was just cascade all over again. Doing it from north to south let me get it done even in under 30 seconds, so this was an easy baby tier. And then there was Metro Kingdom. From the beginning, I knew that it was going to be really difficult. To start, going from the most northern to southern points wasn't going to be possible at all from either direction. If I wanted to stick to the line, I would have to use this wire and then roll far enough to just end up hitting this super tall building anyway. And the worst part was that it wasn't like I could shift the line slightly to avoid the building either. In fact, with line draw after line draw, I realized there was no straight line you could make without reaching a building you couldn't climb. So this would be an impossible tier, right? Well, I had one trick up my sleeve. There was a glitch found early on in Super Mario Odyssey where you could capture the letter A and use its slope to literally go through any wall in the kingdom. This obviously wasn't their intended use, in fact the developers probably knew how dangerous this could be. I say this because there is an invisible wall which stops people from running around the city with these letters, but this wall isn't enough. You can get those letters out with some precise alignment of the letter M and the scooter pushing the M really far for whatever reason and clipping any letter you want out of bounds. So after planning my line one more time, I aligned the letter A with the back of this building and went. Bro please, there's no way, am I doing this wrong? And it worked. Going through the sub area and out, through the center of this road, and capturing the wire, Metro Kingdom was just barely possible, earning its place in spicy tier. Seaside wasn't going to be difficult, I said. It would be easy, I said. And I was right. After making a bad line the first time, I simply adjusted it from the very right of the kingdom to the very left and swam across to the other side. It didn't help that this would have been even faster and easier with the Gushin, so Seaside easily swims its way into baby tier. And to not make this video too boring, snow was basically the same. The only difference is that I crossed the line without having to adjust it at all. There's two jumps here. Uh, the one over here at the center, and then the one at the very end, and this could have been very easily avoided by capturing these cloud guys, I don't know their names, so this goes into baby tier. Moving on to Luncheon Kingdom. I found the northern and southern points just to see that there was a very clear elephant in the room, this giant hill. Without like, I don't know, hacks at this point, there would be no way I would be able to go through or above this actual mountain. So I had to pivot into finding other ways to do this. I immediately thought of going to the right and trying to do it up and down, but then I realized I needed a fireball capture to do this, so I opted to go down to up and simply climb up this wall. Which I say simply, but doing this was actually pretty difficult. You would think that you'd just be able to go up these two walls by just making a normal jump, but you're actually not able to as easily as you might think. You have to adjust yourself just like with ever so slight movements to the right or left to be able to go in a straight line across these walls in ways that made it feel like it was almost pixel perfect. And so after making those alignments, going up the walls, going across the rest of the kingdom and up this cliff right here. I ended up making it, but it was a lot more tedious than I thought it would be, so I'm gonna put Luncheon in medium tier. Maroon Kingdom is really stupid. I mean, just look at the map, dude. I don't think there's anything to say. You can argue whether or not this is impossible or baby tier, but honestly, I'm just making its own Ruined Kingdom tier. Bowser's Kingdom is a complete mess. There are just islands going absolutely everywhere. The only organic way to get to the other islands is through warping to them or going through wire captures that weren't in straight lines. There was a technically possible method of getting across the entire map in a straight line, but if I were to go about this route, this video would have never gotten uploaded. There's a glitch in Super Mario Odyssey called, no joke, the wet nut jump. For whatever reason, if you manage to find one of these comically large nuts and splash them into a body of water, they would have a weird property which would allow you to catch them mid-air. However, this trick has a 2 frame window, or a 1 30th of a second window, and it gives a very minuscule amount of distance. So technically this is possible by just using a bunch of wet nut jumps to go across the entirety of Bowser's Kingdom, but for the purposes of wanting to live before this video comes out, this is going into impossible tier. Arriving in Mood Kingdom, I quickly drew the line and headed over to the southern point on the map. It looked like a pretty simple line from the edge, across the gap, onto the flower at the very end, and especially with me having low gravity, I had no doubt in my mind that I could make this jump. And then I continued to fail it. Multiple times. Even through vaults and triple throw attempts, I was left feeling that it might have not been possible. The only way I could have made it from here would be to go through the flower at the end, which means I couldn't adjust the line at all. But I could flip the line, and that almost worked. The two main barriers now would be the gap jump here and the wall jump at the end. I knew the wall jump was possible since I had seen Koopa Freerunners do it all the time, and unlike DSS, this looked easy. But how would I make the gap jump? Simply using a vault and a cap bounce wouldn't be enough. 
but with the addition of a rainbow spin, this would be enough to get across. So with this jump and going up the wall, which really wasn't that difficult, this goes into medium tier. I'm not too big a fan of dark side. The most northern point is not technically accessible until you go through these pipes on the sides, since dark side is supposed to be a boss rush kingdom that sends you from place to place. There's no silly captures that you can use in order to clip through the walls. There's no infinite high glitch, but even if there was an infinite high glitch, the top of the tower immediately sends you to this mech fight, and once you complete it, it just teleports you off of it. So, since you can't hit the northern point, it's technically impossible. And darker side initially seems like it'd be even worse. Upon first glance, there's literally no way to get from one side to the other in a straight line with that big of a gap between the two. The way that the developers intended you to do this was to go through the pipe and beat the gauntlet of challenges that is left at the end of the game. But of course, as you've seen through the rest of the video, we don't do things the intended way around here. You see, back in version 1.0 of the game, there was a glitch found that literally gave you infinite distance in darker side. It's a bit of a process, so stay with me here. You have to, first of all, go all the way back to version 1.0, which is a pain. And then once you do that, you have to capture a frog, jump, uncapture it, bounce off of the other frog mid-jump and capture it, and only then will the frog start just swimming in the middle of the air. According to this, I backed up to an invisible wall. <laughs> the whole map is gone, oh my god! And then just continued swimming. I didn't get enough height to swim all the way across, but it didn't matter. This was an easy spicy tier. And Mushroom Kingdom was just a bit disappointing. Looking at the map, you would want to do this challenge by going off of this island, but it was actually not possible to do that thanks to this invisible wall. So we have to be a little bit lamer and just shift it over to the left. The only difficult thing here was like the vault at this gap, and so this is an easy medium tier. And this is the final tier list. If you stuck around this long, I'd kindly ask that you consider subscribing. I'm slowly trying to make better and better videos, and this is only the beginning. It would mean a lot to me. Thank you for watching, and have a good one.